The Border Collie Trust in Staffordshire, Northern England, is dedicated to the rescue and rehousing of border collies, and every day brings new arrivals. The Trust can trace its history back to rescue work carried out over 40 years ago by Hazel Monk, a well-meaning lady who loved these sensitive, intelligent working dogs. This happy smiling one is called Riley and he was rescued and adopted three years ago by Ben Wilkes, who's part of the day-to-day -day management of the centre. In the short time we spent with them, Ben Wilkes and his team really impressed us with their concern and their skills in helping the dogs readjust and find new homes. We're asked to help a number of dogs for many different reasons. Um, bereavements, relationship breakdowns, children suffering with allergies, people emigrating. Of course, there's always a lot of collies that people can't manage for one reason or another. But one of the biggest reasons we've seen over recent years is an increase in people having to rehome because they're moving into rented property and they can't take the dog with them. And that is a real problem in rescue nowadays. Yeah, when the dogs come to see us, obviously some of them, especially if they've come as strays, we know very little about them. We have no knowledge of, of what their recall's like. Have they ever walked on a lead? Uh, so it's, it's a question of the staff getting to know the dog over a period of time. And the paddock here is, is an ideal situation for that. And it allows them to, to, to gradually get the, the dog used to being walked on a lead. Um, we prefer to use long leads. It allows the dog to, to behave in a much more natural way. And then eventually that will move on to, to hopefully no lead at all. And then the dog can have time enjoying what dogs do. Running, sniffing, exploring, jumping off the chair. <laughs> the history um, goes back to, to the border areas of Scotland and Wales, where over many years shepherds found that this sort of dog was excellent in helping them to, to, to round up sheep. Um, they have a very quick mental agility as well as, as, well as physical agility. But they also have a problem-solving ability, and it was that that made them the sort of dog that they are. The problem is that that, that that mental ability, that mental agility, sometimes works against them. And so where it isn't being channelled in a way that's appropriate, they become difficult to handle, they can become fearful of certain things as well. And that's when people start to have the problems that they do. Um, again, not a dog that is, is overly confident, although you might think that. does vary from individual dog to individual dog, but they are a very sensitive breed. In certain parts of rescue you find people that find it difficult to let go of the dogs, um, but what you have to remember is that if, if you don't let one go, you can't take another one in. So you have to, you have to let them go and, and make their own way in life, pretty much like children in a way. You know, every animal that's in a rescue has been, has in some way been let down by a person, whether deliberately, accidentally, or through circumstances. So it's very easy to become bitter against the human race. But if you don't have the human race helping you, whether that be by donations, by fundraising, or of course by adopting an animal, then you'll never solve the problem. So people can be frustrating, but they are also the solution. If you want more details about the centre, go to their excellent website where you'll find everything you need to know.